So we all know that Easter is all about what Jesus did for us on the cross. And I thought today we can do something really fun and real easy um, to depict that. And maybe we can make some cards and we can send them to our neighbors or we can make some lovely little scenes of, of what happened that day and what Jesus did for us. So this is what we're going to need. We're going to need some cheap watercolor paints. We're going to need a toothbrush. We're going to need some plants from your garden. So go out and pick a few bits and pieces from your garden. Not too many. You're not going to need, need that many. And you're going to need a couple of sticks as well to make the crosses. You'll also need some paper or card to make your little creations on. I use some cereal box, just the back of a cereal box to make these. They're nice and hard card if you don't have any at home. Otherwise, Target sells a really good good stuff. It's called painting paper. It's only $7 for a massive A3 set. Now this is how we do it. All we do is we take our little leaves and stalks and little bits and pieces that we have from the garden and we la do a single layer down the bottom. This is going to be our base layer and then we're going to put the little crosses on top of that. So you can see I'm layering them. I don't want them to be all piled on top of each other, otherwise they'll make a big splotch instead of nice little single shapes of leaves as we spray our paint over them. So I was going to use pop sticks, but I decided that um, by just breaking up some branches, it would look way better, little sticks. So I've broken them off, put one on each side of the, the vertical one, the one that goes up and down, and each on each side. Sometimes I had to break them and make them a bit smaller so they looked a little bit more in proportion like the cross. There we go, that looks like a good little scene. Added a few bits and pieces. Alright, so now I took my toothbrush and I rubbed it, real, put a lot of water onto my watercolour in yellow and I'm going to do the top layer in yellow. We're going to make a sunset now. So I've taken my finger and I scrunch it across the, the toothbrush and then I went to orange and I'm going to make an orange layer I'm going back and forward, back and forward, until I've created a nice textured background of all the sprays that we have. And then I went to red, and as the sun goes down, it goes from light down to a dark red, and then it goes to black when the sun's gone. So the bottom layer is going to be black. It's going to be going to be like a silhouette. Do you know what a silhouette is? Is when the light is from is coming from behind. Um, it creates a shadow. And that's what we're kind of doing here. So make make sure you don't do it too lightly. You need quite a lot of paint to spray on there. Not like heaps and heaps, but enough to cover it so that when you take the sticks off and all the branches off just like that, it looks, you can see the shapes of the leaves and the shapes of the crosses left behind. Isn't that cute? I love it. That's beautiful. And then we leave it to dry. So I thought we'll do another one. This time I'll do a smaller one with a card. And this one is way, came out way better. I think I used a bit more paint with it. So I've layered on my branches and I made my little garden at the bottom. And then again, exactly the same process. I took the paint and I rubbed it into the watercolors and I made a little sun, sunrise or sunset again. So I'm ready to go with the paint. And I'll rub it in the yellow first, make sure that the brush is nice and clean after the last time I used black. And I spray, spray, spray using my, thing, my thumb. Spray, spray, spray. I'm going from yellow, orange, red, and then black. I actually put a bit of blue in this bottom one. Spray, spray, spray on the bottom. Looking good. Give it a good coating all the bits off oh that looks so good I'm very happy with that so that's the outcome of the two that I made I think they turned out great so how about you make one for somebody special in your life and you can remember Easter not just for the eggs and the bunnies but also for Jesus who we are celebrating this holidays have a lovely time. Hope, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. Well, please do. And have a lovely Easter. Bye.